that will be behind trees, so don't worry about it. Okay, what do you think? Is that, is that working better than a brush or not? I don't know if I would use the word better or not. I mean, I don't see where a drawback right now. And the only disadvantage is getting more on the wall than the brush. Yeah. You see how most of the black is, is ending up in the in the in the cracks yes. instead of on the surfaces. Actually, now that I've got the hang of it. I think I like the spray better than the, br than the brush. say the reasoning for that is because I like the I like the way it ends up okay uh, now that I've now I've got the, now I've figured out how how much water I put on and how much and, and how much paint I'm getting a good fit a good density of, of stain without having to keep coming back and, and messing around with it well alternately Now in this stage, are you looking for variation? Yeah, but then the uh, I'll get more variation once the brown is on. Mm -hmm. And now because right now you've got some dark gray and some light gray, mm -hmm. and I will cover some of the dark and some of the light with the with the brown. Okay. So I get multiple variations. streaks to get rather than vertical and letting it run down and I want it fairly random. Still see the play. And there's no magical formula 
this portion of paint. I'm going to go over the retaining wall again as well. So I've got the same color so palette on both. Uniformity. Well, because the retaining wall would have been built out of stone that they cut out of out of the air, out of this area. Oh. Like all the bits they chipped out of there, they were used for the retaining wall. Right, how does that look? Nice and ugly, the way it's supposed to look at this stage. 